An update on the drilling that we're doing at Yaoi. The, we started off using the soil geochemistry to give us an idea of where the pathfinder elements, the arsenic and antimony and that kind of thing was concentrated. And that's what these colors are on a topographic map. And there's a little bit of gold in, in the Yaoi area as well. The drill holes are marked on here, number one, two, three, four and five, and six coming back to this, this platform here. And I'll talk about this whole area. At Yaoi, we've got these sinters exposed, and they're important because they give the position of the old land surface at the time of the mineralization. And that is important because the epithermal systems are always developed within a couple of hundred meters of that old land surface. So our target at Yaoi, having the level of the sinters located and enrichment in these pathfinder elements, we were basically, we thought we were in this situation, so the idea was to drill under here for the gold zone, which is at a, cu at a couple of hundred meters depth. So this is a vertical profile through boreholes one, two, and three, looking towards the east. And what we have here is this, this basically horizontal sequence of, of rocks, mudstones or shales up here, uh, an intrusive sill in this uh, checkered pattern, and then lavas in, in the green. But what I want to do focus on is this thing that we intersected in, in, in hole three and we've extrapolated out here. Call it a Mar diatreme system. And what's important about that is that this is a cross section of a, a, a Mar. So it's, it, it's a massive explosion um, caused by water interacting with, with lavas at depth and it basically just tosses a whole lot of material up this is a photograph of one going, going off. And what it leaves behind after all that has, has, has blown off and dissipated is a, a great big hole with some ash on, on, these, on, on either side of it. And then this material in here is just a chaotic mix of fragments in rock flour. This is what we think that we've got at Yaoi. So if we look at these deepest rocks, it is just an absolute hodgepodge of any rock from any depth in this, in this sequence. And in fact, you can see these very embayed uh, fragments that show that they were pieces of lava or magma that were still soft when they were injected into or, or thrown up into, into this. So they're coming from way down here and just get, getting blasted up. This tough ring um, is the material that blows out on the side of the, uh, of the big column of ash. And this is very layered. The lava fragments are flattened, so they were also hot when they were emplaced. And the other thing that we've got is this interlayering of these fragmental rocks with, um, with, with mudstones, and they would have developed in, in the lake or the actual mar at the top of this. So, this material down here is called the um, diatreme, and the lake is, is called the mar, very distinctive sediments in each. And the reason that we are talking and quite excited about the, the mar diatreme system, this is a graphic uh, drawn by Silito trying to capture the main ore deposits that are found around a volcanic system. So we have the porphyry that is always the core, and these are typically copper or copper gold. And then we have the epithermals, and the epithermals, which are gold rich, are just the deposits that are formed relatively close to, to surface. This is the old volcanic edifice before it was uh, eroded. And the important thing is that he's actually drawn in this very generalized diagram a, a diatreme mar system because they're so common around here. And very importantly, they are the host. Generally, the margins of the diatreme are a host to some very, very big gold deposits. Taking a, another vertical slice uh, through the uh, drill profile at Yaoi, 
we actually see that there are two mar diatreme systems, one located here in the east, and then we're seeing the edge of another one over to, to the west here. And the important thing about this is that we're starting to see intense illite alteration, which generally forms around uh, epithermal gold deposits. We're seeing that in this bed that was cut in this profile. So we would see this as that base surge that's, that's developed on the, on the outside of the, uh, of, of the diatreme, and then the diatreme uh, breccia, all those fragmental rocks sitting in the rock flower as this vertical body that's cutting through the stratigraphy and then flowing out into uh, this on, on top of the land surface at that time. Our target at the moment is this, right on the edge, as Silito indicated in that graphic, on the edge of the diatreme is we, where we would expect the, the, the gold-silver deposit to be. And from our drilling, we know from the trace elements and the pathfinder elements that the vector is in this direction. We have this alteration of the elite, and, and we interpret that it's in, in increasing in that direction. So our target is here. Where I've located it is conjecture at this point. We just know that it's to the right of this diagram. And we could either use geophysics to try and identify uh, this, this target area more clearly and show us whether it's actually here or over here. But what we've decided to, to do in the meantime is drill from the same platform as hole three to drill another hole in this direction. And even if we don't hit gold-silver mineralization, it's still going to confirm these vectors. And we should expect to see more intense alteration out there. And we should expect to see the gold and silver starting to, to pick up. And some time ago, we said that once we had finished the scout drilling at Crunchy Hill, that we would probably come back to it because we would learn things about Crunchy from Yowie and other target areas. And that's exactly what's happened. We've found that. Um, Crunchy Hill Hole 9, actually now with the perspective that we've got from Yaoi, came through some lavas and it intersected a, a, a little bit of those diatreme breccias, the, the rock fragments in, in the very fine rock flower, and it just clipped through the sort of neck of the diatreme and went into the lavas underneath it. And our best intercept, although it was quite a modest intercept, our best intercept at, at Crunchy Hill was right there, right on the edge of the diatreme, exactly where you would expect a gold-silver deposit to be. The textures here show that it's very high in the system, in the epithermal system, so the target is lower. and on the edge of the diatreme. We don't know exactly where that edge is, um, but we could use geophysics to define this edge. Or we could just come back to the platform on hole nine and just drill a deeper hole to, to intersect this a couple of hundred meters further down. So our drilling is really, the scout drilling is really just an extension of the field work that we're doing. And crucially, now that we understand that we're dealing with a Mar diatreme system, we've come back and refocused some of the field work in this area, and we're starting to find mineralized fragments there. So this model is starting to get really exciting at Yahweh.